Hello there YouTube, Devin here again. Uh, so today, uh, helmet video, not really quite uh, like video on a, any helmet per se, um, but this is a video on how to get your helmet cover to fit really, really tight on your uh, helmet of choice, basically. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So basically, all you're going to need is a, a foliage band, if you have one, some water, and a helmet cover that you need to uh, do stuff on. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, lightweight helmet cover and I'm going to just do up all the Velcro ties so that way I don't have them getting stuck to each other and stuff like that while I'm uh, soaking this helmet cover in water because uh, that's what's going to help it help it to shrink up. Um, so there's a, I'm going to tell you that there's a couple different ways you could do this too. Um, but basically what we're going to do is you're going to just bunch it up Right and get it get it soaking wet. Now this is like warm water. All right, get it get it pretty wet. You're gonna want this thing like really full of just warm water, and then you're just gonna want to wring it out like as best you can. You don't want to get all the water out of it. You still want some, um, but you're gonna want to get it just about as dry as you can you can make it. All right. So, and then once you do that, um, we're not even gonna. We're not even going to quite undo uh, the these things yet entirely. So as you can see, this thing is now wet, uh, and we're going to put it on to the helmet here now. So this can also be good if you have like a really rare helmet that you don't have the like correct sizes for. Um, all right, and so what you do is you just get it on there. We're not even going to updo the Velcro ties yet, and this is a video we're going to give well, at the time you're seeing this, so it'll all be one. But we're going to be doing this uh, tomorrow. So we're going to take a look at how, how good it, it really did. So what you're going to do is you're just going to stretch this thing, right? Get it to, to fit on there, like as good as you can, obviously. So I put that one on backwards. Or did I? Nope, I did put it on backwards. All right. Just get it on the helmet shell, and uh, you could use a blow dryer to help kind of dry this uh, and everything. Get it, get it all kind of like in place and uh, situated how you like it. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna just kind of pull it in as much as you can. Okay, you're gonna put that foliage band on now. Roll this over. You want to get it as tight around the crown and stuff as you can, because that's where most of your tightness is gonna come from the foliage band here. Holding this all in place, you wanna you wanna get as much fabric pulled down as possible. Get that crown looking really, really nice and tight. Okay, and then for doing the lips and stuff, you're going to need to just fold it in as much as you can. You can do the ties up if you want. Um, I don't like to, but then you just take a a similar sized helmet. Okay, like uh, I have this Italian set two sitting off. And just really wedge it in there, okay? Just to kind of hold the, the tightness of everything all in place, okay? You know, tuck in all the fabric around it. But now you're basically just going to let the helmet kind of sit here and dry in this configuration right here. And so then we will uh, revisit this tomorrow and see how it dried. So stay tuned for that, and I'll show you how I did it with my uh, how my M1 helmet looks too. Alrighty guys, so here we are back again, and like I promised, it is the next morning after putting the helmet cover on this uh, lightweight helmet. Now, just to show you, this is this cover for this lightweight helmet was one size too large for the actual helmet. Uh, the helmet is a size large, the cover is a size extra large. It happens sometimes, you know, sometimes you can't get one, sometimes, you know, blah blah blah, whatever reason, sometimes the size up is cheaper. Uh, so, uh, we'll take the... Uh, Sep two out of it, and we'll take a look at how it how it see um, much much better looking. It's much tighter fit, everything like that, just by uh, getting it wet a little bit, letting it dry. Now, depending on what your cover is uh, and what it's made out of, you can um, use a heat gun or a blow dryer on it a little bit, which will help the fabric kind of shrink up a little bit if it's got um, a reasonable amount of synthetic fibers in it, such as polyester or nylon. But if you um, but if you put uh, too much heat on it, you can melt the fabric, which is, you got to be careful with that, because if you get too close or 
uh, go for too long, you'll melt the fabric and then your helmet cover is kind of ruined. Um, but just to show you, like, here's, here's my, like, Vietnam era M1 with a uh, reproduction cover on it. It's a very good reproduction cover. Um, but as you can see, after, after you do it a few times, because each time you do it, uh, the helmet cover shrinks just a little bit more. Um, eventually it will stop shrinking, but normally after like three or four times, uh, it'll, it'll stop shrinking. But as you can see here, this is only after twice and how nice this, uh, helmet cover is fit to the, fit to the shell of the M1. It's the same thing. And the M1s are particularly easy to do it on compared to like the lightweight helmets and stuff like this, because you can really like wedge the liner, really, really stretch this fabric and then put the liner in place to hold it all, hold it all together. Um, which will really, really get a nice, super, super tight fit. Um, so it just takes a little bit of time, and obviously the hotter water that you use, the uh, the better you wring it out and stuff like that is all going to affect the uh, how the helmet cover uh, fits and stretches and whatnot. So I hope this was a cool uh, learning thing for you guys, and I'd, I'd be very interested to see how you guys, uh, how your helmet uh cover fitting goes and stuff like that. So it obviously works best if you have a cover that's the same size as the helmet and whatnot. But as I've shown you here, you can get pretty good even with a helmet cover that is way larger than the helmet you're putting it on. Um, so just be just be mindful that uh, if you have a cover that's the exact size of your helmet and stuff like that, you can get a really, really nice tight stretched fit um, and get a really, really nice looking helmet for just a minimal effort, basically, as long as you know what you're doing. Just make sure you stretch the fabric really, really, really good. Uh, foliage band helps kind of form it to the cover as it, uh, to the helmet as it dries and stuff like that. It's all, it's all gonna help quite a lot. So, and obviously having something um, like in the lightweight helmets case that's similar size and stuff to put inside the helmet to help hold all the tension on the cover as it dries is gonna help a lot. So, that's all my tips and tricks for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. You subscribe if you like this sort of thing. I know it's not the most uh, cool video, but it's something that people have been asking me to do for a really, really, really long time because all my helmets look pretty nice because I've been doing this to all of them. So thank you all for watching. Um, if you like this video, please consider giving me a donation on Patreon. It all goes a long ways to really, really help support the channel, especially since... YouTube monetization's been down a little bit, as well as I've lost a lot of Patreon subscribers over the last couple of months just because of, you know, uh, stuff going on in the world, people needing the money and such like that. So as little as a dollar a month goes a long ways, and it gets you into the Discord. So if you learn something, or if I've ever taught you anything, or if I've uh, ever, you know, talked to you stuff uh, or whatever on any of my live streams I do all the time, it'd be uh, cool to get a dollar from you, at least for just one month. Uh, goes a long ways. So... Thank you all for watching, and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye now.